Okay, so I've unboxed my suitcase that I got to take um, to Miami with me. I'm going to put all of my um, things that I have. Oh, it's warm here at the Atlanta airport. I'm about to check in Delta. It's my first class flight. Headed to Miami. Kiss on the cheek for my mom, of course. My kid is making a video for me. This is my beautiful suit. I just got from Amazon. I love it. And check back in with y'all once I land in Miami. A button and an air conditioning control valve located in the panel that's right above your head. my room it's a weird place to have the toilet but okay it's everything that i wanted though my agent is upset because she said that i picked the room in her opinion a little too far from the surgery center and you know that i probably could have saved money on ubers if i got a little bit closer but like jess knows everything about me but one thing she doesn't know about me is how i am about my hotel rooms like the slightest little something wrong will throw off my whole trip and it'll be like. Why you keep on aggravating me? Yo, Jenny gang, what it do? So I'm back with another cosmetic surgery vlog. I hope y'all can hear me because it's a lot of traffic out here. I'm still in Miami. I may have to move because everybody gonna be all in my conversation with the gang. But before I get started on this particular vlog, go ahead and like, share, comment. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We talk about horror stories often. So today will be a mixture. Um, this is a vlog that I'm making because I'm going home today. I'm so excited. Most of you know I was supposed to go home on Saturday, but today is Tuesday. I just got my drains out, so now I can go home. It's I got a long time for my flight. I don't fly out until about 4.30. And it's only like 12 something right now. That's cool though. I'm outside the surgery center talking to y'all. So I just wanna talk about my experience. Um, mostly everything was great. I do like my body so far. Uh, as far as my boobs, they are what gave me the most trouble. This Uber driver is bumping. They gave me the most trouble as far as pain, but I have yet to get, my stomach really did not hurt me like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that it's because I really didn't have a lot of stomach because if you watch Tummy Tuck vlogs, those first couple of days, girls talk about how their, you know, stomach pain is just killing them. They didn't even have implants. The girls who I was watching that said that it was you know, like an unbearable type pain, even with the pain medicine. But I haven't had any pain in my stomach. It's just like when I try to do certain things, I can't because the cut, it, like my body will say, you can't go any further. Um, somebody needed me to do some promo for them the other night. I started trying to just twerk. I'm talking about like while I'm sitting down twerking, my body wouldn't move because it's so tight because of the cut. It wasn't pain, it just is like, it's so, I just couldn't move, but these are where I have pain, particularly my left one. 
and we'll talk about that in a second because of this is going to be a mixture with a horror story that when i was just getting ready to make this vlog um a girl i seen the other day she's pretty cool um she was cool the other day but today she's got a little horror story going on and has to do with the surgery center so like i said i'm talking about my experience <clears throat> everything is good for me <clears throat> My doctor is Dr. Lesson. Like if y'all look on there, I, I don't know how to spell it, but it's like L something SS. He's the only one with that type of name. That's who done my work. So when my final results come out, when you go to CG, if you go in there and you like, oh, I like Jenny's body, that's the one that I went to. <clears throat> Have no issues with him right now. Cause y'all know your body has to settle. Um, still got a lot of fluid in my stomach and abdomen area. But um, once that fluid dies out in a few weeks, I'll be able to see exactly how my tummy took and everything is, you know, what he done. But right now it's lovely. Um, <clears throat> only negative thing I'll say is, and this is partially my fault, but when you get um, surgery, whether it's lipo, tummy tuck, you have to get these lymphatic massages because they're pretty much, they are, um, pushing the fluid out with the massages. The massages I thought were included in the surgery cost, they're not. They're three, $450, right? So I had already gotten my three, but the girl had scheduled me again yesterday for another one. So I'm like, I'm thinking maybe because I missed my first post-op appointment on last Tuesday, I'm thinking that maybe there was a massage that came with that first post-op appointment. But I just found out <clears throat> that it wasn't. So that fourth massage that I got yesterday, I ended up having to pay $70 for it, but I didn't ask for it. Now, you do need like eight to 10 massages after your tummy tuck, so it's cool. I would have had to probably pay for it anyway because I don't really, like I, I do it a little bit myself, but I want it done. Like I want it done right. So I would have ended up, oh God. I would have ended up having to pay for it anyway, but it's just the point that I didn't request that particular massage. The girl was like, hey, you need to be here Monday for um, another massage. And I'm like, hmm, I know it was three for 150. I paid that already, but maybe this one's supposed to come with the first, but I didn't ask. So when I got in there today, they were like, hey, we didn't bill you for that. Now, some people may say, they do that on purpose. Cause you know, I had to ask myself that too. And I explained to them that I didn't ask for that. Yeah, y'all know I had a snitch then. I was like, the girl in the red hair told me. To, <laughs> but the girl, she wasn't here today. But still, like... But anyway, I paid it. That's the last debt that I owe to them until I um, come to get my butt done. If I do that. Because I don't really think I'm going to need it done. Because it's already poking out more with the tummy tuck. And if I thought that I wasn't coming to get my butt done, I would have told them to kick rocks. Now, I ain't going to lie to y'all, CG. Because that wasn't my fault. But, you know, I'm blessed and highly favored. And I'm a universe baby. So... When we do things, it comes back to us. So that was a good deed. I could have told them, sorry, I ain't know I was supposed to pay for it. Nah, I paid for it, it's cool. Um, like I said, my flight is at 4.30. Um, that's a little while from now, so I'm gonna eat and then go to the airport. I'm vlogging to y'all on top of my beautiful pink suitcase. And um, so my ring light's already packed up. But everything's good. I was definitely miserable in my room because I'm a homebody. I'm that person, I'll go work somewhere, Charleston, Atlanta, and I'll go home after work, five o'clock in the morning because I just love home so much. That's not very safe, but imagine me being all the way here in Miami, thinking I'm going home Saturday morning and then finding out that I'm not draining enough. I gotta stay until Tuesday. But today is the day, so everything's good. So let's get into this real quick. So as I was getting ready to make this vlog, a girl named Paula, she's cool with me telling her story because she's upset and understandably so. She got surgery the day after I did. She got it last Tuesday, February 2nd. She got a tummy tuck and a breast augmentation. She's had six children, so she's had um, six C-sessions. Um, did I say that right? Yeah. So, she today, I seen her the other day, we were just going to get our massages. But today, she says that she is upset that her boo, one of them, is 
I don't know how she knows this, but well, she said her sister is a nurse or something like that. Her sister's up here with her, but the doctor nicked the vein or something in her left breast, she said. And also, he didn't suture it back. He just went ahead and put the implant in. So not only is that, of course, a safety risk, but the implant is looks bigger than the other. And she, she pulled them out right out here outside. She showed them. It's like this one is normal. And I feel like this one right here hurts more on me than this one, but they're the same size. But hers, the other one that's, that's messed up is actually bigger. And the drain things that we have, y'all, y'all see I made a video with the drains. Hers is like one of the one that's connected to the messed up boot is like full of blood. Like it's so much blood. Your drain is not really supposed to be blood like that a week later. It's usually like this orangey color that you guys probably seen on the video that I made. And it doesn't drain as quickly as the one that she has is draining. So there's definitely something wrong over here from what I can see. I'm not a medical profession. I um, did go to school to be a veterinarian, but I got pregnant in my third year, so I didn't um, finish. So I took a microbiology class and then I done a um, surgical tech class. So I know a little bit and I know that you can't ignore a nick vein. If that's really what happened. But her boob really is definitely bleeding, obviously, internally and coming out of that drain. So she said that um, it's not exactly, it's CG because they, it's their doctor, but it's Dr. Suture. Um, she wants the message to be put out that he, he's not even going to be doing surgery in here more anymore. And that right there makes me feel like they were already, he was already being transferred, let go or whatever. Maybe he's doing last few surgeries here and and maybe the reason why he's being transferred back to Connecticut is because he's not doing such a good job. I don't know. But when she tried to get him to fix it, he's trying to get two more thousand dollars because it has to be done in the hospital versus here at the regular surgery center because now it's like a you know it's kind of like a it's not cosmetic anymore it's like something really dangerous you know and she's like not willing to pay for that she said that and i'm not sure why her uh, procedure was 13 grand um but maybe it's because of the 60 sessions i have no idea but she's you know what i'm saying i'm kind of i'm I, if it were me First of all, I'd be scared to death because I'm up here by myself now. My friends are gone. Um, also, I the way that I save money, my I have well, it's none of y'all's business, but the accounts that I have big money in, I don't have debit cards attached to them. You can't cash out from them. You can't do anything. Only thing you can do is show up to the bank and withdraw the money. And obviously, I can't do that because I'm in, in Miami. So I came down here with a limited amount of money on purpose. So I wouldn't be up here online shopping, just buying shit for no reason. So if that would have happened to me, I would have been in a little bit of a sticky situation because I have like people I could call for funds, but just to need two grand and spare of a moment, that would have took me a little time to come up with while I'm here in Miami, crippled, can't work. I'm sure the gang would have had my back, but I don't think y'all would have came up with no two grand in a couple days for me to you know what I'm saying? Even the niggas that, or excuse me, even the guys that love me would have been like, I got 500. <laughs> I don't got two grand, Jenny, to give you. <laughs> but uh, that's just humor, y'all. But yeah, it's a sticky situation. Now, she has the money with her. That's not the issue. The issue is the principle of the fact that it was supposed to be done right. So why is she having to pay additional money? Her health really probably is at risk. If that vein is really cut, like what she's thinking, and something's definitely making that blood drain like that it's red blood it's not how the drain normally looks so something's definitely wrong with it but i just wanted to put that um because that's a horror story being she's from baltimore so she's having to try to get that taken care of and she just left she was going to the hospital to meet him and you know, try to get things squared away. But I, I wish her the best. You know what I'm saying? Definitely say a prayer for her. And I hope everything gets fixed with it. Even when they do get the money thing situated, I hope everything gets fixed with it where it doesn't threaten her, her health, you know? I was telling y'all the other day that when you do cosmetic surgery, it's like you're literally, or any surgery, you're putting your life in another stranger's hands. And that's what my fear was, you know? The fact that he's trying to demand more money and it's a mistake that he made because I, 
I'm not a cosmetic surgeon, so if you do something wrong, it can't possibly be my fault. He said that her body didn't take well or something to the implant, which that could be possible, but why is she bleeding like that? But I don't want to brush y'all out. But anyway, y'all, pray for Paula. Like I said, my only um, irritation is the, the massage thing. I have no other problems with them. I feel like it's a very busy uh, place. The girls are in and out of this place like a revolving door. You would think the surgery is free, um, but it's definitely not. But I, 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 I rock with them. And like I said, I didn't have that doctor. My doctor was great. And you can hand pick your doctor. Um, and I didn't even pick my doctor, but I, I got a good one. I'll say that right now. I liked how I liked how thorough he was. I liked how I came in there with one plan. He said, it's going to be the plan because my plan didn't make sense. <laughs> you know, but um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I have to say in this vlog before I go to the airport? I am going to throw a few clips in to show y'all, you know, just a few clips that I made before I came and while I was here. Because, you know, it's a vlog. Y'all need to see my ups, my downs, my, you know, everything. And, yeah, y'all, y'all make a comment on here. Let me know what y'all think. Pretty much probably already know what y'all gonna say about the doctor. That's, that's, that's scary. And I really hope that that goes over well for her. She's, she's not afraid though. She's not like me. I'm very, I'm very humble and kind of deal with things differently. She's, she's like kind of raw, raw. So I, I think she'll be all right. I love y'all right. She, she's Baltimore native. But uh, anyway, y'all, like, share, comment, hit the subscribe button, and I will see y'all on the next one. Checking in the Delta. It's okay. As y'all can see, I put my the pieces of my trip. I put it before the video instead of after. I contemplated it making it a whole separate video, but it was only like three minutes, and I would have had to add like a lot more clips that I couldn't even really show y'all on YouTube. So... Yeah, I hope y'all enjoy it. I am in the Miami airport right now. I was going to wait until I got on the plane to finish the vlog and upload it then. But I'm going to go ahead and give it to y'all now. Make sure y'all like, share, and comment. I'm taking off in about an hour. Safe travels for me.